Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. Now if you've seen my other video, you've seen the uh, the unboxing of the Mantis. If you haven't, feel free to check it out. Uh, but what the Mantis is, it's a way to stabilize video. Now as you can see here, I've got a uh, I've got a Panasonic HC V100M mounted to it. But typically I would use, and you can use most any camera because it's got a standard uh, uh, screw type tripod or screw type camera mount like you would find on a tripod and basically you just mount your camera up there you could either use the viewfinder of the camera or you could use the uh, the LCD display which is what I do but it's just a really cool rig you got these two handles here and as you're walking the the way that this is designed it helps to uh, it helps to stabilize not as much when you're walking it's when you're just standing there and panning because a lot of people, you know, traditionally with a camcorder, you're just holding it. And if you've, if you've filmed any video, you know that holding it in your hand produces shakier results than holding it on a monopod or a similar device. And that's what I got this for because this gives you the shoulder, and it's completely adjustable, and I'll get into that in a minute. But this gives you the ability to put it over your shoulder. Uh, as you can see here, this is completely adjustable. You just turn this. Uh, you can you can push this. Uh, <clears throat> you can angle it up and down however you need to. Maybe you don't want to use the shoulder at all, so you just put it beside and then tighten this. And then you're not using the uh, the part behind your shoulder. Maybe that's uncomfortable for you. So you just want to have it resting on top of your shoulder. You can do that. Say you don't want to use the shoulder at all. What you can do is uh, take this screw here, just let you know, let it out, and then, and this is uh, the design of this is really cool. Cause see that's collapsed. Now you've just got that back there. Maybe you just wanted it shorter. Maybe you wanted to really make it long. You can go, as you can see here, it's it's got quite a bit of length. And maybe you don't want to use the uh, shoulder por portion at all, so what you can do in that case is utilize this other piece right here. And just put that down. And actually, if you wanted to, I think you can even, uh, I think this, if you position it the correct way, yeah, you can even completely get that out of the way there. So see now I don't even have any shoulder piece. I'm just holding it in my hand like that. So it's from a customization perspective, it's very nice. Uh, the part uh, that I mentioned earlier where the screw type uh, camera, you know, that's similar to a, uh, well it is a screw type, um, a screw type camera or tripod mount like you'd find on a, on a tripod see that just that's very adjustable and you can just you can screw it unscrew it from the bottom and then your camera pops off uh, one thing it doesn't have and this isn't a problem for me but a lot of tripods you get they'll have the uh, the little latch mechanism uh, that'll pop out and detach from the uh, from the tripod in this case the mantis this doesn't come off but that's not a problem it's actually a good thing because it would be bad to be in the field and have uh, have misplaced your uh, your screw type tripod mount. But what's cool about this? This has a track right here, and it'll go forwards and backwards. So depending upon the size of the camera, obviously this was a Panasonic HC V100M, which is a somewhat small form factor camera. Uh, but when I'm putting my XA10 on here, I position that differently than I do with my uh, than I do with my um, what am I trying to say? my Panasonic because my XA10 is bigger and heavier camera. So it's it's just really uh, really versatile. Obviously if you've got a GoPro you can get the GoPro tripod mount probably a few bucks online and then attach that to this and then put your GoPro on top of that. So check out my next video where I do a demonstration of the Mantis with a GoPro attached. And something else I wanted to point out is that when you look at these um, the bottoms of all these handles, they have screw type mounts. 
so you can uh, you could actually the shoulder part or any of this for that matter you could put atop a tripod so maybe you've got a tripod and you want to uh, utilize the handles so not only helping to make video film smoother appear to be smoother but this also gives you the big camera feel so even if you're just filming with a standard uh, somewhat affordable camcorder or maybe you're filming with a more expensive prosumer camera like a Canon XA10 etc it's still going to give whatever camera that professional feel and the tactile feel when you're filming uh, when you're filming a video is important because you want to feel like you've got control over the video I mean obviously someone going out and trying to shoot a professional production with their camcorder in their hand without any monopod or any sort of steady cam yeah if they hold their hand really still it can look somewhat decent but there's always going to be that visible amount of shake and just a, an affordable device such as this mantis can really make the difference from make the difference between decent looking video and uh, professional looking video on a budget because the mantis isn't that expensive i mean i was i was thrilled at the price point and it's uh and these handles are very soft, so when you're filming in a hot place and you're sweaty, it'll provide some grip. Uh, one thing that some of the uh, Mantis competitors, there were complaints about, uh, about the smell. They said that the grips just smelled awful, and that was out of the box brand new. These don't smell bad. They smell good. They smell kind of like a... Uh, uh, trying to think of a good comparison. They smell like, uh, you know, you ever get those toys, those Nerf toys that, you know, you shoot soft things? They kind of smell like those do. But anyway, I couldn't be happier with this, and I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate, before I conclude this video, how to collapse this. So you can take your, uh, you can really break this thing down. See, that's going to fold in there for when, you're, when you're traveling. There's one of your handles. And then there's your other handle. And then this will actually, I can put this down in here. I didn't, I didn't put it in all the way. So see, there's your, there's your compact size. I mean, this is in a backpack, in a suitcase, you know, it's, it's not super light, but it's, it's definitely not, uh, not something that would be uncomfortable to carry around from a weight perspective. So it's nice how it's all, and, and I like these thumb screws and whatnot. Uh, there were some complaints on the internet about the quality of the thumb screws. And obviously I don't see a problem with it. I mean, they're, they're, they're sturdy. I mean, yeah, they're not going to, if you're out there abusing it, they could potentially break, but I mean, the screws inside are metal. I mean, it's, I, I'm impressed with the build quality and the, um, just the adjustability and the portability of this. I mean, this Mantis is really nice. Uh, stay tuned for a lot of videos. I'm going to film an abundance of videos with this, uh, with this Mantis. So it ought to be cool to see how it performs. But just a really good unit. I couldn't be happier. Uh, thanks for watching. Share this video with others. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Y'all have a good day.